1610, the state legislature passed the suffrage bill. That was a glorious day. I was so thrilled that I decided to join the national movement as well. But alas, my health wasn't good and I died in 1915. It was a great funeral though. <laughs> Everybody came from minors to those snooty Spokane socialites that snubbed me when I moved to town. And Al, he founded a children's home in my honor. He was a great man. Well, that's my story, but I want to end it as I end in my letters. Yours in liberty, May Arkwright Hutton. Speaking to a newsman in Pendleton, I described the erratic behavior of the aircraft as being like a saucer, as if you were skipping it over water. Of course, the uh, newspaper misquoted me in saying that the objects were saucer-shaped, when in fact I did not see that. Hence the term flying saucer became uh, more of a well-known term and was used more heavily in the media. <laughs> Turns out, if you've killed someone and you commit a few alleged maimings while in prison, you get a reputation kind of quick. And they're saying the pen in Leavenworth is better equipped to handle me. I don't know. They are saying they're going to keep me in permanent solitary confinement, which would be perfect. I don't mind if I spend the rest of my life away from other people. I might try keeping some birds in my cell, you know, as companions, because birds never get in the way. Oh, in the meantime, though, I've been writing down all my thoughts on this whole prison system thing that the government is trying out. Now, I've been trying to get it out to someone who will publish it and blow the lid off this whole place, but the guards, they're not being very flexible with me right now. <laughs> Do you think one of you could sneak my manuscript out to someone who will publish it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>